www.naughtydog.com. Go there, kids. Hello, everyone. I'm FTA. <coughs> I'm your fan. And we're here just to uh, mess around in a Crash Bandicoot Warped. Warped. Everyone else on YouTube these days is just playing a game for like 20 minutes. So we figured we'd just do what they were doing and throw our phones into the trash can. Shut up. <laughs> Now this again. This is kind of a um, Sonic Three syndrome. This this intro only works if you get the good ending of Sonic of um, Crash Two. Yeah, I like that it does that though. I, I like that the games are just literally continuous. That's I feel like you don't see that too much from platformers anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess it's just accepted that the polar bear chills with them now. Get it chill, yeah. Kicking this one off pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> Coco just left a laptop outside. That ain't smart. Yeah, in the last game, we had to waste our whole time looking for a battery. In this one, she's like, I'll just leave it outside. Who cares? If she kept better care of her laptop, we would have had to go to friggin' get the Christmas for Cortex. Yeah. She'd taken better, <laughs> she taken better care of her laptop battery. We wouldn't be in this mess right here. Oh, uh, good old Clancy Brown. Playing Neo Cortex. Thank God for Mr. Krabs. I I think he's also the mask. No, he's the good mask was Uka Uka. I think the bad mask is Aku Aka. Aka Aka. Aku Aku. Aku Aka. I don't know. They've said that, and I know someone's going to point it out, but our TV audio is low, so we don't have audio bleed into our mic, mm -hmm. so we can't hear all of the audio. So don't whine in the comments. Do you think Neil Cortex had that end tattooed on his head? I hope so. I like to imagine he had that punk phase of his life where his parents are like, when are you going to get a real job? He's like, Mom, the scientist thing will work out someday. I'll just go off Australia's islands and fuck around for a while. Or do you think he was part of a gang? That's, that's <laughs> the, like gang science. I was going to say the in gang, but I'm sure that could be misconstrued. <laughs> I like that this jet board from 2 is just up on the wall. It kind of feels a lot like Banjo's house. Look at they just have pictures of Crash and Coco on, on the man face. So here's what I look like. <laughs> In case you forget. Nah, his feather clipped through the door. <laughs> oh, and we're How here! How did get there? That's the place where, like... That's like one of our segues. And we're back! <laughs> <laughs> Part 2 of Crash Panic 3, and we're back! But um, at the at the time of this recording, Chris, you are working through your Crash Bandicoot limited on PlayStation. I've been putting it off pretty well, yeah. Is there a reason why you like, just want a fan of uh, this, this Crash this, One? This Crash One, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I basically say it in review and can't explain it well because controlling, I can't even say it right here. Explaining controls through words is just hard. But like to me, Crash One feels kind of stilted, a little uh, unreliable with like jumps and. Mm -hmm. I feel like the level design is pretty mostly fair, but I don't trust the game. So therefore, by comparison, I think Crash 2 and 3 are much better. Crash 1 also has an absurd gem thing, which I have not bothered with. Yeah. You know what's weird? The, the uh, facial animation on this puts SA1 to shame. <laughs> yeah. It's insane. That's why Naughty Dog's world-renowned, man. They got Cortex's face just right. <laughs> yeah, fuck The Last of Us, man. They got Cortex's face... <laughs> Fuck L.A. Noir, French animations in this game. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it crashed by a good, you know, three. It's, um, this obviously takes its cue more from two. Mm, thank God. Yeah. I would say, though, um, three tends to, tends to be the fan favor. I would probably give my vote to two. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Why, why is that? Three has a lot, like, um, there's a lot more, like, uh, racing level. There's a lot more of, like, I mean, it's... It, it is variety, but like there's a lot more of like uh, vehicle weapons shoved down your throat. Here's a gameplay style we use maybe one more time and abandon kind of thing. Yeah. Because that was my issue with Spyro 3, is that it did very similar things. Whereas here's a gameplay style, um, we'll bring it back maybe once and maybe it works pretty well, maybe it doesn't. Uh, have fun. I will say, in terms of Spyro, at least those are just mini games you can ignore from what I remember. Uh. You're going for 100% completion. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, you uh, can't, but yeah, yeah, for the uh, most part, like, you can just walk by those in the level, and some dude will be like, solve my riddle, and no, play a destruction derby. And be like, nah. 
But for this one, it's like, you know, it's the game, it's the levels you have to do. And I'm just like, I, I don't care for the motorcycle level, the motorbike levels. I don't care for the uh, jet ski levels. I found the um, biplane ones to be the most obnoxious. I, I, uh, I got used to kind of the motorcycle controls, but... Uh. I think I think the, the last motorcycle level is obnoxious. I need to play it again. I will say, um, I, I feel like presentation-wise, this game... I mean, obviously, it's the most recent game of the three, so it mm. tends to be better, but... Like, it feels like a nice Saturday morning cartoon. The graphics are really appealing. They conveniently use the time travel thing so they can get it out of jungle areas, which was very smart. Mm. Let them explore a little more, like, with this medieval town. Um, I, I feel like it has the catchiest music, which, to me personally, is a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know. Like, this one, to me, on paper, is the most delightful one to play. I've this never... Mm. I'm not too familiar with 2 to say which one I feel is better. Oh, it's, oh, it's like uh, Crash has more power-ups, you know, there, there is more there is more diverse... Yeah, they got stuff like the double jump later level, on. Yeah, you know, I think my favorite, you know, <laughs> uh, the probably did the super spin and double jump are the best. Then, then you get stuff like the super belly flop, which is like, who cares? My favorite thing is save boxes at checkpoints in a box count at any point in the stage with the triangle button. Yeah, yeah. It's got a, one one thing they also um, added for this one is the uh, the, the, the 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 platinum the, the time trials the yeah. time trial relics yeah and those are mostly fun to go for I think um, I think you just have to get it's like silver gold and platinum is the best you don't have to to get hundred percent of the game you don't have to get all the platinum ones which I think are ridiculous yeah I yeah. think which I, I think, I've never gotten one I think that is a good design choice where you don't have to actually. Technically, one hundred percent everything, you know. Agreed. Because mm -hmm. I am the kind of person that stresses out just a little about that number until the point where it doesn't seem attainable. Attainable, then I don't care. Um, so yeah, like, I mean, it is kind of a sissy way out to some people, but not letting me, not making me actually hundred percent the game to hundred percent it for the little number is nice. Mm-hmm. Now, this, we, we talked about different controls. How do you feel about the swimming in this? Yeah. Kind of take it or leave it. It's, it's it's not the worst swimming, you know, control in the game I've ever played. So I'll give it that. Mm -hmm. I feel like on occasion I'm dying and it's not my fault, but it's never so much that it sticks out or becomes a negative to me. It's just kind of oh well, that happened. I think sometimes I think the um, hit the tech is, is the weakest in these sections, mm -hmm. especially with the um, the uh, death charge bombs. Those can sometimes just hit the nick of it, and you yeah, die. it's like you. I, I have the worst luck with those seals. I think seals, yeah. seals, same thing. Yeah, one goes to clubs, the other doesn't. <laughs> I will say one of um, one of my favorite things about uh, Crash in terms of like the animation is um, all of the unique death animations. That is a good point. Yeah, I should probably put that into the video somewhere. <laughs> Gotta say, in in terms of like. Uh, it Franchise Mad the Crash never really had much of a personality other than just because he never, he was a mute, you know, like he never spoke apart from he was just kind of like dumb too. Yeah, like in some games, like in some of the like PS2 games, it was all, almost like he was like brain dead. Like sometimes the way he was portrayed. Really? <laughs> yeah, because uh, that was the point where like Jess Harnell played him, and he would just like make noise like. Ah, blah, blah, blah. I mean, he played Crash too. Yeah. He's not not in these ones. On in in like the on. PS2 one, yeah, it was just on out. Wasn't he Sparrow in one of the PS2 ones, The Hero's Tale? I think mm, he, played, he played someone in one of those games. B. I know Spyro was originally Rocco, and then it turned to um Tom Kenny. And I think Crash or Carlos, whatever his last name is, was also Crash too. Really? What I read somewhere, but that might have Maybe. been. Maybe. He doesn't really speak much. I mean, in the first game, he says, uh-oh, in the opening cutscene. Whoa! That yeah, lot. apart from being like, whoa! Doesn't say much, but, um... I feel bad for botching that up. I usually do that pretty well. Do what? Whoa! Yes, you should feel bad for botching up a Crash Bandicoot impression. Uh, I gotta learn to love it. <laughs> speak <laughs> Anyway, uh, oh, we're, talking waka, about, waka. we're talking about the death animations. I think that's one of the things that makes help, Crash stand out. Help make Crash One less of a 
more, a little more tolerable as I was repeatedly dying, not only from sucking at the game, but... Well, I'd say they're the weakest in one, though. Yeah, but still, I mean... I can appreciate that that was probably one of the first games to do something like that. Yeah, you know, it was, I think, like, Sonic was the first game to give, like, a, um, like, idol, like a good idol animation. And Crash took inspiration from Sonic, among other things. Yeah, you know, it's, as famously known, the uh, working title... Oh, yeah. I it was Sonic's ass game. Pretty apt, pretty apt. Because because it was going to be, you know, obviously there were, you know, the, the spin dash and stuff was taking it from Sonic the Hedgehog, and because the entire game was going to be, uh, well, most of it was going to be from the, uh, you know, th um, third person backwards perspective, you'd just be standing at his arse the entire time. And that design philosophy is why Star isn't in the Sonic Racing games. That's such a dumb idea, <laughs> though, you know? And I think it's also the reason why Kirby wasn't in there, too. Again, a dumb <laughs> idea. Especially when those games constantly have the characters turning around and waving at you. I know, right? <sighs> I also think, like, this... I like, I like the Crash Panicky dance. This is great. <laughs> I think in the... I like um... watching Johnny do it. Sometimes <laughs> I pull up that video late at night where I'm drinking a little. <laughs> I shouldn't say anymore. Put on some music, light some candles. <laughs> Psych! Can I point out? Yeah, I, I like that. That's a nice little touch. Uh, there's something weird in that. Entropy? Entropy is. Entropy? Entropy, yeah. He's shown early on as, like, the kind of second right hand man. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, this guy's the reason why you're time traveling. But he's, like, the th third or fourth boss out of five or six. Yeah. Oh, a little odd. But I figured I'd mention it since we probably won't get that far. Yeah, I think we'll. I think in this video we'll just do World 1. And then maybe come back and do other worlds. Yeah. Uh, these the gameplay style is. I cannot construct the songs. <laughs> Damn it! I should. I should have not gone. I should have gone underneath to get the boxes. Yeah. I, no gem for me. These are so much more fun than the one. The ones in one, like the the hog rides, are the horrible. Yeah. Like. We don't, we don't. I, I, I'm so hypothetical because in Sonic Unleashed, I don't mind the trial and error stuff, but in that, it's like. Eh. I think, the, it, I think it, it's it's more annoying in um Unle in um Crash One because it's a lot more unforgiving. Like like it's it, a it's, secondary gameplay style too. It will also in, in something like um in, in Unleashed, there is there is a possibility of you being able to do it. You know that first go crash. It's very <laughs> some of those turns. I, I, I'm thinking of like the um. I think the first hog ride in Crash, like the the last section before the checkpoint, it's um out. <laughs> Coco, <laughs> I found that Coco could still walk. We don't need the tiger. Coco could still walk. You do pick up on things in Crash One, though. Like I forget what exactly it is, but like the side of the hallway the character starts from when you first see them, that's usually the safe way to go. Or something like that, from what I recall. So you can pretty much always opposite the first mm -hmm. way you see them, and you, you, you pick up on things like that. But you got to keep dying and doing it again. That was, was like a couple, yeah, ten boxes out. I like this moment where he gets up, hugs the tiger, Aww. and then it just sits there doing whatever the fuck for the end of time. <laughs> Which really, like, I, I get why they brought Coco in, but like they only give her um, like vehicle levels. Like mm. you don't get to do any platform river. Someday, Bandicoots will get equal representation. <laughs> Not all coots. <laughs> Not all coots? What the fuck? Uh, there was this Banjo... Not Banjo. There was this Crash Bandicoot reboot they were doing where... Mind of a Mutant? No, that one, that one happened. Um, ugh! Yeah, not every model is great in this game. Well, um, Crash was... Like, the Bandicoots were like uh, a species he was protecting, and they were like or something, they were like little cute little things, and they were called Bandicooties. No. Yeah, they were adorable. Speaking of, do you think we'll ever get um, a reboot? The Spiral, they... Spiral came back with, you know, the freaking, That's what you not, call it? What's, I, I've still got Enter the Dragonfly on my mind. They keep trying for Crash, and they keep getting these developers who seem you know, passionate about Crash, and then they just keep canceling it, or getting the rug pulled out from under them, and it's kind of like it's like, you know, wasn't there, there was talk of, like, a DS oh, I, remake? I'm sure there was, I mean... 
I mean, maybe not a remake, but like a reboot. There's been all kinds of stuff. Like, I think a Crash Bandicoot car racing game became DreamWorks Superstars all racing or whatever. What? But really? Maybe that was just something on a fan wiki that was inaccurate. But I mean, they, it's not like Activision doesn't want Crash back. It's just for some reason they won't let people see through it beyond some concepts. And I forget. So Activision, so they they had the current rights to so talk about. So Crash no, and Smacker. So Naughty Dog just sold them, the Activision. Yeah, that, there was a thing with Universal back in the day, and I can never remember the exact details, but. It wound up that way for Spyro 2 and that, um, basically through events, you know, like Naughty Dog wanted to go with Sony, so they had to give up Crash to Universal through some deal or something, so. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I, I might not be 100% right, but basically Universal Interactive Studios got Crash and Spyro, eventually, uh. and through going through different developers on both sides, they both wound up at Activision. And Activision, I think it so was the um, the Spiral reboots. Was that um, was that through you know the one where Elijah Wood was Spiral? Was that through Universal? That is a good question. Um, or uh, Activision, rather, like who was who were they with? I am inclined to say Activision, developed by Chrome Studios, but I will need to look. What was the first one? Dawn of. Just type in. I think it was just. Dawn. I think they were just called Legend of Spyro. Wasn't Spyro yet? Yeah, Dawn of the Dragon was. Like, um, yeah, Activision, and S Activision in America, Sierra Entertainment internationally, which is interesting. Hmm. Oh, I haven't got the double jump yet. I don't, think I, I don't think I can get these boxes, Chris. Square Enix published one of the games in Japan a couple of years ago. What, the, what, the Spiral reboots? Um, there's some 2013 game. They probably handled uh, Skylanders then in Japan. Yeah, so like, you know, like, imagine if they put Crash in, in, um, in Skylanders. Why not at this point? So they they like, put fucking Bowser and Donkey Kong in it. Why not Crash <laughs> Bandicoot? <laughs> That's right. For some reason, that doesn't seem outlandish to me, but... What, Bowser and Donkey Kong in yeah, Skylanders? Yeah, but Crash is like, oh, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, aren't there like a bunch of Spyro um, Crash fans who are, like not happy? Oh, I'm, I mean, I'm sure there have been a lot of unhappy Crash fans for a while, but oh no, I'm sorry, I'm a, I'm a um, Spyro fan. I'm happy with the fact that he, you know, they they use they used him they use Spyro to, to get jump start the franchise. To get, but they ignore yeah, him to get Skylander's foot in the door, and now he's just kind of a legacy character you can still scan, but he's not like the focus. So he, and to me that is a good thing because now if they want to do Spyro, he's so far separated from Skylanders at this point. That you can do that without him being the Skylanders character to kids. Good point. But good point. I don't see them doing that. I mean, we were just, you know, I don't know when we'll upload this versus our Streets of Rage video, but to me, I see Crash and Spyro the same way I do a lot of Sega franchises in that they'd be great downloadable $15, $20 games that don't need huge budgets. When you have a gameplay style pre established, I mean. Mm hmm. I guess it didn't work out so well for Crash 4 or Spyro 4, but I mean... Damn! There's... I'm not gonna say, like, the vocal echo chambers I'm in on the internet represent a lot of people, but I feel like there's enough people out there who clamor for these franchises and their original incartations mm. that it's worth at least pursuing once, just to know. Well, Instead we, of making yeah. things like Mind Over Mutant or Crash of the Titans, was that the other one? That sounds like a pun they'd make. <laughs> That sounds like a pun I'd make, so they, they <laughs> probably made it. Well, so well, that, so, like, so the first the first reboot they did were those ones. He got like the travel tattoos and stuff. Um, were those well received? Uh, th those were the Mind of a Mutant ones, right? Yeah, Mind of a Mutant. It was. I think it were there two rebooted cra crashes, or is it just Mind of a Mutant? I think it depends on if you view something like Twin Sanity as a reboot. Well, no, because no, because that is that's still this crash and this cortex. Okay, okay. Then um. I don't know what all Crash games were, but I guess in that sense there's only been one, which was the, the two most recent games, the Mind of a Mutant Park Crash of the Titans ones. Oh, okay. And those were those exist. good? Were those classes good games? I, everyone tells me Twin the one where he's connected to Cortex is actually quite good. Yeah, that, Twin that's, Sanity. That's a different title than the two I mentioned, but yeah. I, I hear people like that one. I'm interested to play it someday. 
As for Crash of the Titan, the mind of your mutant, I hear those are okay licensed okay. kid games. Okay! Licensed kid games, but nothing special. That shouldn't really be Crash games. It's weird to say license, because, like. I, I, I should, maybe I shouldn't have said license. Yeah, because like, they're, they're not maybe based they, on, like, a maybe cartoon show or anything. Maybe licensed quality is a good way to put it. Like Rise of Lyric. <laughs> okay, that game's amazing. <laughs> yeah, so. So, how, how are you coming to terms with the water controls for the first time in a while? Because I found it a little more difficult than I remembered as a kid. It's... Granted, I played the game a lot more as a kid, but... Mm. Well, you know, I've, I've, um... I, I, I play this off and on. You know, every couple of weeks I'll come and play through levels, because, you know, this is a big game for me. I never owned, I never owned three, I had one and two. And I played the shit out of two. Like how I always had two and three, but never one. <laughs> Which you, you know, that that's the better deal. Yeah, that's the better deal to have in that regard. I feel like the order controls are fine until like you're showing now when you're trying to go for boxes. Yeah, if you're just like blazing through the levels, then it ain't do too bad. Because when, when you when you pick up some uh, when you pick up some speed, you know the control still stays pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, it's just when you're trying to be precise and there's shit like these death balls. Ba bombs. Ba bombs. Yeah, like. Fine tune readjustment doesn't work too great right here, but yeah, they learned their lesson. There's some stuff like this in Uncharted One that works really well. And How did that seagull kill it, me? It owned that box. You had that. <laughs> it claimed it. You stole it, and it killed you. Duh. What are you stupid? What are you fucking stupid? <laughs> you seeing Coco stand for idiot? <laughs> Memes. Oh, the bird's dead. Nice. You killed it. Are they really memes if we invent them? Uh, everything's a meme on the internet these days. Oh, good point. Well, That's a separate discussion from itself, but <laughs> everything sucks. Everything is crappy. I, I mentioned it earlier today in a tweet. I really miss when there was only like 20 memes to keep track of. <laughs> there were like when it six weird cats, a couple weird dogs, and like when, maybe when, Lucy O'Donnell. When the only meme was over 9,000, the internet was a much more <laughs> simpler place. Firing the laser guy. Like, <laughs> yeah. is, he, is he in a retirement home now? Like, it was firing the laser over 9,000. Man, I just made a hell of an Adult Swim sitcom pilot, but retirement center for old memes. Retirement <laughs> center for old we get smoothies in on that. It's just like Donnie owns it. That's where he gets all his meme power from. Donnie's the guy at the front desk. Oh, well, welcome to the Meme Retirement Center. Hashtag. Hashtag me. Hashtag rock the boat. My favorite thing, one of my favorite things ever said about Donnie was we were doing the uh, Banjo Kazooie stream. And, like, we were talking, you know, Donnie was there and shit. And it was a thing, it was, it was kind of like a running gag where I kept them telling him to be quiet <laughs> and shut up. Of course. And um, TG just goes, oh, come on, he memes well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's, that, that sums up Donny. And we all love that fucking guy. That sums him up perfectly. He memes well. <laughs> that's fucked up, but true. <laughs> there, I memed. Um, two more boxes. These are the last two boxes. And then I get... Oh, see. <laughs> Uh, fuck! <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> See, she can still swim. What the fuck? At least when Crash dies, he gets like you know, he, he gets that like crash. He gets like cut in half. At least then his savior acknowledges his beliefs and makes him an angel. <laughs> Coco just kind of like, well, I'm, I'm done now. Fuck. There is one crash death where like his um, Aww. he just loses his trousers and like he walks away sheepishly. Like you, you can still fight, Crash. So the head just don't need no fucking trousers, neither do you! I wish you needed trousers. You almost did, but then Sega were like, no, no, no pants. I just want them in the Sonic OVA outfit that the owl shows off. <laughs> those are Sonic's favorite clothes! When the fuck would he even wear those fucking pink shorts, pink shirt, and the backwards <laughs> cap? Okay. <sighs> Well, at least in the final issue of Sonic Boom, Knuckles got his OVA hat back for one panel. What kind of idiot would wear this? <laughs> I was really hoping you'd do the same exact thing again. I could if you wanted to go back and do that. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't spare, I can't bear to watch you lose that gem. <sighs> uh, if Jonathan was here, you know he just starts singing with gem songs now. Why would... Oh, yeah, it's the gems. <laughs> Me and my friends are Jam Girls. I'm a Jam. Jam is my name. I'm interested to see how you do against Tiny, because I found he was a little tougher than I remembered. And I couldn't remember the way I used to cheese the fight, either. 
I always thought you just stood in the corners and everything would run by you. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, it's not a great, uh, not a great model for tiny, tiny. Part. I like the idea of bosses giving you shit before you beat them up, but it'd be nice yeah. if the rest of their body was there too and zoomed out. <laughs> a tiny returns from um, Crash Two. Mm. I'm trying to think. I don't think apart from Cortex, I like that. That's a nice little. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Like all those white guys in ancient Greece. Okay, that's fine. Um, I, I I make this joke in a crash video, but I'll just make it now. There's guys who look like Auto Scratch and Sniff from Animaniacs. <laughs> <laughs> Auto Scratch and Sniff. What are you doing here, Crash? <laughs> that's right. Uh, I don't think I don't think any um I don't think any um. Any. Uh, any okay? I don't think any uh, bosses from Crash One aside from Cortex return. Ripper Roo is in two. Okay, yeah, he's in two. Pinstripe in the um, in the uh, like manual for Crash Two, you realize that his girlfriend goes up with um Pinstripe. <laughs> nice. I think some of them came back to Team Racing, but may, I don't yeah, know if may, you want to count that. I don't think for like aside from Ripper Roo, but he's like visibly older. Yeah. I don't think any of them come back um, again because it, it was first it was like the old guy in the heart with the stick. Ripper Roo, Papu. Yeah, Papu Papu. It was uh, <laughs> that's his name, that Papu Papu. Uh, this, is, um, this is a good name. Uh, I forgot you could spin those lines away. Yeah, Ripper, that's why I had a hard time with this. Ripper Roo, Pinstripe, Cortex. Put the, the koala dude, King Koala. King Koala. No, I don't think that was his name. I think it's the guy with um with the like the missile in his head. Is he in one? That's one reason why I have to redo my video because I thought he was, but the whole time I was thinking of Inbrio, who had the cork the corkscrew things in his head. Is he the one who throws the potions at you? Yes. Oh yeah, I like that boss actually. Yeah, I think Inbrio was in two. Okay. Yeah, he was. So um. So I gotta re-record some audio. <laughs> <laughs> So I think we'll we'll uh, we'll give it a rest here for um, Crash Bandicoot three. But you know, once again, we got depressed over what became. Came, but you know what? We'll we'll probably make this a return in um, series. We'll you know we'll do a one world per video. Oh, we should call it like a let's play or something. That sounds dumb. <laughs> Who the fuck would do, do that? Who the fuck is stupid? I never. I'm gonna destroy your point. Another little detail I like is how Crash doesn't gracefully jump out. He just kind of like it's just thrown out. out. Yeah. That guy always stand his face. He's like, Duh. hey, don't forget, you can save your game without getting three Tana tokens and talking to the girlfriend you're trying to fucking save. <laughs> <laughs> Crash be in the hood. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Um, just just so we know we so we can photo up, I'll just call Oh. I I, I, I was I think it would be, I was gonna put it all star, but okay. But that's it, so guys, uh, we'll, we'll come back with another crash part at some point. So um sure later. Remember when games were fun? I don't. <laughs>